Hello everyone, the uh, Guy Fire Alarm here, and today we're going to be doing a very first system test. Before I get started, I need to say a few things. Uh, number one, this will be the only device I will be recording on this system test. The next system test, I'll be going back to cameras because I prefer cameras over phone video for some reason, and it's just because of storage and stuff like that, and I don't really feel like putting videos in phones, and you know. It's just me. Nothing too special about that. But without further ado, let's get on with the system. Now this is the overboard of the entire system at this moment. It can't go any back. But let's just start it. Now this is the control panel that will be used for every system test going on. From now to the next system test, this is the Firelight MS4424B. I got a new key. The old key broke off, so I decided to get a new key. This is the control panel. And that's pretty much it. It's conventional, by the way. It's not adjustable uh, control panel. Adjustable stuff seems to be hard, so, yeah. I got this panel two years ago, by the way. So this panel is officially two years in my collection at this point, I guess. So let's go with the notification appliances devices. This is my real lock RSS.mcw. Candela is set to uh, 110. Ah, oh, I forgot to change the Candela again. So I was messing around the system, testing some few things, and I forgot to change the Candela again. So. It'll be 110. It's supposed to be 15, but moving on. This is my. I forgot the monitor for this. Let's look at the back. This is my Siemens ZR MC W. It's Candela. It's 15. This is my Real CH90. That's um, 24 volt. MCC. The Candela is fitting on this as well. For the initiating devices, this will be the same smoke detector until I get a new one. It's an i3. It's a little dirty. I'll clean it up later on. This is my Simplex 4251-20 uh, first gen pulsation. And this is the pulsation you'll be seeing for the next few system tests until I get more pulsation. So I'm sorry for the lack of pulsation. Moving on. This is my simple 2099-9795 addressable pulsation. The module has been removed and it's obviously conventional right now. So it, I think that's everything. Now let's start the system by pulling the 4251. That's funny. As you can see, this control panel to for audible silence. Uh, I figured this out a while ago. So, this, to re alarm the system, I'm going to pull this uh, 2099-9795. Yes, that's an accident. Um, is it a wire shorting each other? Yeah, I'll take a look at that later. That's weird. Well, I guess the last device for now is the night three. I cannot set it off. Hold on, let me see if I can set it off. I don't have anything to set it off with the smoke, so I'm gonna go ahead and put the test button. Let's hope the pan don't shoot itself when I do this. I 
All right. Now we're gonna reset the system. I take a B key. I obviously have one of those copy keys. I don't have the original simple B key. That's how you set it. Thank you for this one. Correct me if I'm wrong. Um, I think in this generation, uh, after like nine, two thousand or so on, the key turns to the right instead of left. All right. Uh, you got that all out of the way. That's your system reset. Okay. Now, that will conclude system test number one. If you like the video, yeah, like the video. And if you have any more questions or comment and so on, let me know. It's been the system test number one. See you in the next one. Have a great day, everybody.